Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power x, this is equal to 96, so what is the value of x? Solution from here, we have 8 to the power x, this is equal to 96. So to solve for the value of x, we introduce logarithm on both sides, that is rog 8 to the power x, this is equal to rog 96. So rock 8 to power x, this is in the form of rock 8 to power n, which we can express as n rock a. So applying this power root property of logarithm, then rock 8 to power x can be expressed as x rock 8. This is equal to rock 96. Now the next step here, let's divide both signs by rock 8. And also here by rock 8, so that we will have the value of x, that is x is equal to rock 96 divided by rock 8. Now the next step from here, we can express 96 as, we can express 96 as 12 times 8, so that x is equal to rock 12 times 8 divided by rog 8. Now, rog 12 times 8, this is in the form of rog A multiplied by B, which you can express as rog A plus rog B. So applying this logarithm property, then we can express x equal to rog 12 divided by rog 8 then plus rog 8 divided by rog 8. So rog 8 here simplifies, so this is equal to 1. And therefore here, x is equal to 1 plus rog 12 divided by rog 8. The next step from here, we can express 12 basically as 4 times 3. And we can express 4 as 2 to power 2. And also we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So substituting this, we'll have x is equal to 1 plus, now here we have rog 2 to power 2 times 3 divided by rog 2 to power 3. So let's proceed from here. We have here x is equal to 1 plus rog 2 to power 2 times 3. And this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. So applying this property, then here we'll have x is equal to 1 plus rog 2 to power 2 divided by rog 2 to power 3. Then plus rog 3 divided by rog 2 to power 3. Now, the next step from here, rog 2 to power 2, by applying the power root property, that is rog a to power n, this can be expressed as n rog a. So applying this property, then here we'll have the value of x is equal to 1 plus rog 2 to power 2, this is 2 rog 2, divided by 3 rog 2, plus rog 3 divided by 3 rog 2. So let's simplify here. Rog 2 and rog 2 simplifies so that x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3. Then plus, this is the same thing as a third rog 3 divided by rog 2. Now, 1 plus 2 over 3, this is the same thing as 5 over 3 plus 1 over 3. Now, rog 3 divided by rog 2. This is in the form of rog A divided by rog B, which we can transform as rog A to base B. Now, applying this property, then we will have the value of x is equal to 5 over 3 plus 1 over 3 rog 
3 to base 2. Now this implies that a third year is common. We can factor out a third so that it will be a third 5 plus rho 3 to base 2. Now this is the value of x. This is the value of x. This is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x actually satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. Now, if you recall, if you recall here, we end at 8 to power x, this should give us a value of 96. Now, we can substitute the value of x here, so that we'll have here 8 to power 1 over 3. Into the bracket here, we have 5 plus log 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 96. From here, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. Substituting 2 to power 3 here, we'll have 2 to power 3 multiplying by 1 over 3. Then 5 plus rog 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 96. So let's proceed from here. Now here we have 2 to power 3 times a third. So here we simplify 3 and 3. So that we'll have 2 to power 5 plus log 3 to base 2. This should give us a value of 96. Let's check if this is true. Now 2 to power 5 plus log 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to power n plus m. And this should give us a value. This can be expressed as eight power n times eight power m. Applying this exponent property, then here we'll have two to power five times two to power rog three to base two. This should give us a value of ninety six. Now two to power five here. This is the same thing as two times two times two times two times two. And this is equal to 32. So here we have 32 times 2 to power of 3 to base 2. This is in the form of m to power of a to base m, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of a. So that implies that 2 to power of 3 to base 2. Now this implies that this is equal to 3. This will give us a value of 3. Now, let's substitute this value of 3 here. So, we'll have that 2 times 3. This should give us a value of 96. So, here, yeah, this is 3 times 2, which is 6. And then 3 times 3, which is 9. So, clearly, you can see that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that the value of x, which is a third then into the bracket 5 plus rock 3 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video, you can also support this channel by giving the super thanks. So thank you so much and kindly subscribe.